so let's take a look at how rifles work in this game. So this is very late in the game. I won't tell you where it is because I don't want to spoil it for you. And I think I might have completed the main objective. And I think rifles in this game are the most powerful weapon system right next to machine guns because I spent most of the game having one bolt action shooter, then later backed up by an SVD and two machine gunners in behind. And I, I think perhaps like 10% of my battles are even fired an assault rifle or submachine gun. Because I think there's a defect in this game that the game doesn't take into account how wounded a character is and how it affects the accuracy. So you actually, only if you hit the character in the legs, they will lose action points. And if you hit them in the hands, they will lose accuracy. Or well, otherwise, they can be almost dead, as the game says, and they can still hit you with full accuracy as if they didn't take any damage. Okay, so... So this um, character, um, Igor over here, he's carrying a Gewehr 98. Okay. And I found this gun in this configuration in very early in the game, on, on the... Um, on the island where the Ernie Town is. And this has been my primary weapon with which I initiated combat and made most of my kills outside of the machine guns. Okay, and rifles in this game are anything that's a bolt action, sniper, or marksman rifle. Battle rifles, like the yeah, Evan Fall in this game, are classified as assault rifles in this game. So they are slightly weaker in damage output. And so far, I found two. Um, things that are considered rifles, which is the Gewehr 98 and the SVD. I think there are other ones, but I haven't seen them yet. And there's some tactical differences to them. So, for example, uh, K98. There's no special tactical finesse to use it with. It's just a high-powered weapon, and it's really good at, well, hitting people in the head right at the beginning of combat. So, for example, with Igor, when he starts out the game, I think he has accuracy of 78 or 80. Not right now he has 83, and it's, I think, at the end of the game. And I can hit on my screen resolution, which is 1080. If I zoom out like that, from that distance over here, I can hit an enemy in the head if I use all the aim points, four aim points, with about 80% of the time. And quite often, it you can walk through the map and just play like a point and click adventure. Just right click a few times, click, and the enemy's gone. Because... It's that good with AD accuracy uh, mark that you can use. Then the other rifle I found what? is the SVD, and that's tactically quite different. Okay, see here, 36 range. See here, 32 range, which means the Dragunov actually outranges the Gewehr 98. Also, might might depend on the scope you, you mounted on it. However, the the damage output is the same, and there's some tactical differences. For example, what you can do here on the K98, you cannot put a bipod on. Now on this one you can you can, you can put a suppressor on, put different scopes on, extend the magazines, even a lighter stock. However, the bipod really makes a difference here because if you put a bipod on, it says here large accuracy bonus when prone. And that's a really good weapon. First of all, you're prone, you're harder to hit. And this game is very dependent, or if you want it to be, um, dependent on using machine gunners. And Having somebody with with an SVD next to a machine gun, also prone, is really good at protecting the flanks. So, for example, if the enemy runs out of the machine gun cone and gets close, the SVD can take him out like that. But other than that, there's not really much to rifles in this game. The, the only thing that's that's important is to remember is that when you play the hardest difficulty level, you need to end combat as fast as possible. Which means if you have five enemy targets. Instead of distributing the damage, like with assault rifles, hitting everybody a, bit, a few times, you should take out as many targets completely as you can. And I haven't tried the theory yet, but I think you would get very far in the game if you just use K98s uh, and SVDs, uh, four of them backed up by two machine guns. Because I played most of the game with Hit just this up. weapon at the beginning, then I found That's the SVD later, and I had one machine gunner, yeah. I think Grizzly was it, early in the game, here in RPK. And then later I, I got buns to use... Uh, the, G the HK-21. And most of my characters have backup assault rifles, but they never fired them. So, for example, Igor has a backup FAMAS that he didn't fire a single time. I'm carrying the thing, the FAMAS around for, I think, most of the game since the beginning island, since I found it. Never fired a shot with Igor from that. So, 
So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, rifles are high damage and really accurate weapons. So ideally, you sneak around the map with them in two man pairs. And if you find single patrols just isolated of one or two guys, you quickly take them out. And hopefully the rest of the enemy troops doesn't notice it.